The Daily Download. The Daily Download. Daily Download. With Mac and Gatos. The biggest stories now. The FAA has handed out its first fine for a delayed flight. Boy, it's a doozy. Yeah, U.S. Transporta- Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood said, We put the tarmac rule in place to protect passengers and we take any violations very seriously. Mm. Well, they fined American Eagle Airlines $900,000. $650,000 must be paid within 30 days. This was the May 29th passengers. uh, I'm sorry, this was. uh, Oh, it was back on May 29th. 15 different American Eagle Airline flights left 608 passengers sitting at O'Hare for a total of 225 minutes. That's 45 minutes beyond the limit. All right, so just think about it. it, I'm not. I don't want to sit on the tarmac for, for right. more than an hour. Right. Okay. I don't want to sit for eight hours. But what what I'm thinking of is is this kind of situation is it is it similar to the banks? The banks got nailed by the government. Then they have these trickle down fees to us. If American Eagle Airlines gets nailed by the government for almost what a million bucks? Yeah. Is are they going to have to make that up somehow? And is it going to trickle down to me if I'm going to fly them? Is my ticket going to cost, let's say, could. fifty dollars more? It could uh, than it did, you know, before they had this. So, and do the passengers that were stuck get any of the money? No. I That's right. A, they're not. What, did, what have I always said? If I get stuck on a tarmac for more than a couple hours, what am I doing? You're going to get up and leave. I got to grab her. Yeah. I, and I'm not kidding. I will not sit on a plane like that. But they probably won't let you get off anyway. Oh, yeah. Herman Cain says. He, with a capital H, told him to run. Oh, my goodness. When I finally realized that it was God saying that this is what I needed to do, I was like, Moses, you got the wrong man, Lord. Uh, He's funny. Um, I'll tell you, I I was willing to give Herman Cain a chance. The 999 plan I've looked into... Uh, I, I'm, I'm looking at, well, is, has he really sexually harassed everybody? Now I just don't care because now he's just a goofball. Yeah, but be careful Be careful going down that road, though, because a lot of other presidents say or yeah. have said right, right. that God speaks to them, God does certain things through them, and sure. you've, got a very, you've got a very segmented group of voters who think that if Herman Cain, well, I guess Herman Cain ran for the right reasons, that he's playing politics here. I don't really know. I have no idea if he really knows that or thinks that that really happened, that God right. spoke to him. Right. But he's got to play that card to a certain segment of the population in order for him to get those votes. Very, this is just political. Very right-wing side of the population. Now, a guy like me, kind of an independent, I think he's an idiot. Listen, I'm a fan of God. I like him. I believe in him. But I know he didn't talk to Herman Cain. I know he didn't talk to George Bush. I know he didn't talk to Michelle but Bachman. But what did, what did I mean, Obama do better than anybody else? Play to the room. Mm-hmm. If he's at a certain place that may be very God-friendly, he's going to play that card in order to get elected. All right, so the first public interview of Congresswoman Gabby Giffords airs tonight. Yeah, let's little, hear a little bit about it. Is it Diane Sawyer who's going to do the interview on mm-hmm. ABC? Brave. 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 And she said brave. 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 Thank you. Brave. brave. That's what I think of when I think of you, too. Thank you. Brave and tough. Seems that uh, Gabby Giffords can uh, speak one or two words here. I right. wonder if she can put full sentences, paragraphs together. I'm not sure that she can. We'll have to wait till tonight. I got to tell you, it still looks like an amazing recovery. Right. No question about it. I, I don't even worry if you know is she w- ready to get back to work or. Well, how long I mean, do my you goodness, wait? How long I, I do you know. say for their constituency? Hey, look, I'm not going to be able to do this job. Do we have a do we have a precedent for that? I don't I don't know. I, I just, don't know how long you can glad, take off. I think I'm just glad, like everybody, that she's alive and actually survived a a, a shot to the head. Right, because she and had what a 99 percent fail rate. It's amazing incredible. that she actually survived, and then amazing that remember this happened in January of this year. Yep. It hasn't even been a year yet when she was shot. No, and uh, she's been working on a book with her husband. And they're going to be on with Diane Sawyer tonight on ABC. I'm really interested to watch her speak, right? To see what she looks like, to see how her hand motion, uh, motor skills, I'm, and how I'm, she interacts. I'm really wondering how she is, and I think we're yeah. going to get our first real taste of that tonight. All right, that's it. That is the daily download. The five biggest stories of the day, the five must-hear stories of the day. We count it down every day. Five oh five, Mac and Gatos.